Brookside versus G2. For Novi versus Cookser, two legends of the game who have, who, whose rivalry dates back to before Rocket League itself. Now facing off for the first time since the season one grand finals. <laughs> what a time to come back, right? The, the million dollar season, the crowd's already going. It's a, like you said, a rivalry goes back well beyond Rocket League and you gotta wait to see it unfold, but wait no more, here it is. Game number one, Flipside versus G2 underway. Rizzo leading that kickoff ball, hit into the zone for Novi. He's gonna clear it right back. Ball into the corner now, Mystic moving up. Gets the touch off the sidewall, hits it downfield. JNAPS leaves it for Kronovi. Kronovi across the field, Mystic and Cooks both going up for it. JNAPS had to turn it aside, but we saw a double commit very early there at Chiefs. Already some plenty early pressure from both teams. And like you said, the double commits, you gotta think these guys have been around far too long for any of the nerves to get to them, but I mean, still. we saw we saw Flipside having trouble with that early in the season before they turned it around. This is their first game on the stage. Nerves definitely a factor. Especially, Yukio. especially for Yukio. Definitely the one to watch again. First time at LAN, and he was a big factor in getting him here in this this uh, this series. We'll see how Yukio factors in. Rizzo taps it up. JNAPS with a touch gets it by one, but Yukio sends that deep into G2 zone. Pernovi takes his time, challenges one. Second challenge by Mystic, sends it off into the middle, but JNAPS with the clear. So both teams battling for possession right now. Now Cookser will leave that, Mystic missing that. Now chance for JNAPS, hits it off the corner of the ceiling, but Yukio gets the save, follow-up shot, and that's gonna find the back of the net. Rizzo strikes first for G2. And there is Rizzo, the ever sure-handed third man for this team. Kronovi applying a little bit of pressure, and Rizzo well aware of the fact that there was a chance that even if that clear goes over his head, it's not going to be very dangerous for Flipside. They'll have time to get back, takes a chance, and it paid off. So Rizzo opening up the score sheet for G2. And we heard from the desk, Cookser has not beaten Kronovi on land. Will that streak continue? Another chance, JNAPS oh. getting denied by Mystic. Cookser gets the ball out of danger. Now off into the corner. Mystic flicks oh, it by one, a race three. between Yukio and JNAPS, but JNAPS gets there. And to go back a little bit and talk a little bit more about why Kronovi feels like they've always going to be able to beat him. That one's oh, out the and front, and there's Rizzo. Again, Rizzo getting a goal for G2 and doing it all himself. A miss hit as well from Yukio on the challenge. Yeah, Yukio trying to figure out exactly how that ball was going to bounce. Knew it was coming out, read it as not going straight down, but unfortunately just took that extra half second, was just a little late. And Rizzo, you know, we, the desk said he was underrated, comes out, gets the first two goals for G2. Kronovi always feeling like he has such a sure handle on what Cooks here is trying to do. Talked about it in an interview that just came out recently. And, it's part of the big reason he feels so confident against this flip side team. Shuts down the big playmaker. And there again, we saw Yukio and Cooks are both going for that ball. G2 keeping flip side on their toes. Now Kronovi up. Gets another touch on it. Might get a third. Oh, Goals oh man. The shot. Kronovi doing it all himself. And boy, did they come to play here. Kronovi, a great catch. Cooks here right on it. Unfortunately, was not able to read that brilliant catch on the oh. wall from Kronovi. Just goes up and over. And a little bit too late was Flipside to get in front. And a clean goal from Kronovi. And just a brilliant solo effort. Kind of reminds me of the Chicago play from earlier in the day. Kronovi just taking it all himself, catching the defense off. And another Rizzo. shot from Rizzo. Sneaks it underneath the crossbar. That's a hat trick for Rizzo. And boy, if you're flip side tactics, you are not happy about how this one's starting. Rizzo, what a brilliant touch out to the center of the net. Bar down and in. Yukio can't do anything about it. That one's pretty much off the kickoff. G2 came out, and they're putting him down. Rizzo, you know, his teammate JNAPS was the golden striker, but it doesn't seem like that would be the case with how much Rizzo is carrying the offense right now. It's been quite a change for G2 in general compared to last year. Overall, the entire team has been getting far more involved in the offense. JNAPS, of course, still leading in shots, but what a bump. 
And from that's the flip side. And that bump opens up the net. Mystic has a well-placed shot here, but there's still a long way to go for flip side. Pranovi definitely with the ball came on. No idea that Cookser was probably right there. Just got blindsided. And a nice open net, and flip side starting to battle back a little bit. Now approaching the two-minute mark. G2 up by three. And that play there, Yuki over to Cookser. Couldn't find Mystic to finish off the play. Mystic up for this one, bounces it off the ceiling. Now JNAPS will get to it. Try to center that out into the middle. Pernovi has to come help. G2 low on boost right now. Pernovi finally getting full boost. Half has to defend this shot. Does get the save and Rizzo hits it into the corner. And Cooks here with a really hard press there out of the midfield, expecting maybe a weaker clear from G2, but flip side understanding they're down by a lot and they got to make something happen there's a demo in the open net around a cooks here and that's a oh, huge stop from Grenovi. a massive save from Grenovi making his mark and that keeps g2 at a safe distance with this lead time running out for flip side in game one mystic off the backboard good touch from rizzo cooksers there waiting for novi Going for another touch, but he's a little slow to it. Ball still goes backwards into the flip side half. Center ball, Arizzo just too far back. Pernovi against Yukio. Takes his time and gets the save as well. JNAP's oh, also man. barreling in to help. Dangerous ball. Yukio with the yeah. shot. That one's going to find the net. Flip side or within two. You felt like this one had to find its way in. After you see all of G2 just locked around this side of the net and they're all just diving because they have no idea where flip side is over there. And that one definitely deserved to find the back. Cooks here setting up two in a row now. Yeah, chaos right there. And it all started when JNAPS and Crow went for the same ball. And their defense was left scrambling. Under a minute left, two goals separating the teams. Well, we see flip side get within one. JNAPS goes for the shot. Yukio knocks it off to the side. Now, chance for Kronovi, blocked by Mystic. Rizzo in the corner, gets it by Mystic. Cookser tries to slow play a dangerous chance. Ball just still bouncing in front of net. Kronovi has to back out, he had no boost. Now Mystic, Ooh. going for the dribble, Ooh. flicks it by one. Final seconds, flip side need one right now, and then we'll need to get a kickoff goal. JNAP's off to the side, and game one is going to be going to G2. Come out of the gate swinging. Swinging is absolutely right. Just got everything going right. Almost one for no time left, but this one will is be a formality to close out game number one, and they, they want one more. Why not? Flip side looking to pad the stats. Hey. Perhaps if Mystic does get it. But that's still game over in favor of G2. All that will really do is make this game look a little bit closer, but you got to give credit to Flipside, honestly, where it's due, because the final two and a half minutes or so, it felt like all Flipside, and they definitely start to put plenty of pressure on G2 back on the defensive half, but overall, G2, again, doing a nice job. But like you said, that early press from G2 is yeah. just phenomenal. Right, right out of the gate, maybe just pouncing on those nerves, because, I mean, G2, they're all veterans at this point, and we're going to take another look at this G2 goal. And it was such a nice, hard transition from defense to offense. Happened so fast, and oh, Kronovi, it's the Kronovi play, yes. just a brilliant catch right over the top of Cooks here. And that one, that one was when you really felt game one was out of reach. It's like, all right, all right, they're win. Yeah, that was stellar play by the captain there. Kronovi really uh, stepping up on this stage, and Rizzo as well, a hat trick, hat trick from him. And that plays in a little bit more about what I was trying to talk to earlier in that match. G2 overall, it's been a very different dynamic on offense for these guys. Last year it was all JNAPs trying to score all the goals, and this year it's been everyone on G2 really getting involved. Rizzo still predominantly that third player for them, but Grenovi has really stepped up, and JNAPs has taken very set-up man approaches. Yeah. He's very good at setting yeah, up new and opportunities. And we did see a few double commits on both sides. Like you said, flip side started to heat up near the end, and then also Cookser had three assists. He led the RLCS in goal participation, or two yes. assists. Yeah, uh, definitely. So, so you have to watch out for him being that facilitator, but he is most known for his shooting ability. If, if, if Yukio and Mystic can start feeding him and he can start getting shooting opportunities, we might see Cookser really pop off. Yeah, Cookser, the number one shot taker in all of Europe over league play with 130. But overall, Mystic and Yukio, definitely a great support asset for him, and they need to pick things up a little bit here. Yukio, big in the final seasons. Mystic in charge of keeping them all together and getting them rolling here in game two. So let's see if they start off quick. 
Game number two, Yukio right out of the gate, getting that first goal for Flipside. And it's a nice touch here from Cooks here, trying to keep it a little bit close, and JNAP's thinking maybe he'll take the dribble, but just pounded it off that corner and in a bad spot. There was no way he could reposition his car to get that ball out to the corner, and indeed, Flipside out of the gates. And Yukio, he was a player that stepped up for Flipside to guarantee them their birth into the World Championship, scoring huge goals against complexity that put them over the top. Now, Flipside needs him to step up in the World Championship. What is this? This is very bad for G2. Pernovi, spawning back in time, gets the save. Now, passing play, J Naps hits it into the corner. Flipside really rushed that transition, I think. They got a double commit from G2 on offense on a play they didn't have, and a big miss and a wide open oh. net. Excellent play for J Naps, getting this ball into the middle so Rizzo could just tap it in. Really felt like Flipside had some dangerous, a misread from Yukio, unfortunately, and, and J Naps. It, it has looked a like he thought J Naps was going to flip into the ball and challenge it, but J Naps just took his time, dribbled that right out, and gave that goal to Rizzo. Now kickoff goal chance, wow. a narrow save from Mystic. Now Kronobi out into the middle. Rizzo tries to get around it, angle is a little too tight for him. Mystic no boost here to challenge, does get that mid boost. See if Flipside can transition on the attack here. Mystic taking possession. Rizzo breaking up the play, but Cookser off the ceiling. Mystic was going for the demo, yeah. didn't get one on Kronobi. Mystic has really been driving around that backfield and Flipside wreaking havoc in the G2 backline in general, but still able to make a big stop as Rizzo, but liking the physical play from Flipside, trying to open up a few holes and get some more opportunities. And we'll see if that pays off for him. Mystic. Been getting a lot of those demos and bumps. Now Cooks draw, trying to go for the block, but no JNAP's got around him. Oh. oh, that was a scary moment for Flipside as Yukio was able to hit it to safety. Follow up chance, Cooks are now JNAP's off the ceiling. Yukio trying to get this ball out of harm's way, but still Flipside wow. stuck in their own half. A lot of respect from G2 right there. I don't think they realized that Mystic was out of boost and was kind of just scrambling a little bit to try and get in position. And that will allow them just enough space to work down onto the orange side. And Yukio with a demo on Kronobi. Demo still coming out for Flipside. But Cooks, he has just been stuck in the back. Hasn't been able to show his chop shooting just yet. Jay Naps with a long clear. Cooks are again up to meet that ball. Mystic off to the side. Rizzo's there. Hits it off the sidewall to Kronobi. Kronobi back to Rizzo. Does he see Jay Naps? He does! Jay Naps just high and wide, and Kronobi couldn't follow up. That's a couple of big chances for G2 now, and that's one more in front. A nice catch from Yukio. I like the idea of keeping it close and trying to earn a little bit of possession, but right now, suffocating. And that zero boost ceiling play. There we Not go. Panning out for Kronobi, and that, oh, that life sacrifice right there. Gets that goal for Flipside. And Mystic definitely had a lot of places to put this I ball. Mean, he I, shows do you off call the net. A, a demo play, a I, I, Yeah, I think I you mean, have to call it some form of it. Cooks here definitely trying to he, find him, but put his life out there on the line for his team and slowed down that defender to get that goal. Heads up play from Cookser. And now Pernovi getting challenged. Jay Naps up. Yukio keeps the ball at half. Rizzo off the side while Mystic gets it over to Yukio who pops it up. This Yukio Mystic offense working right now for Flipside in game two. And one thing that I actually quite like, Cooks here assisting four of the five Flipside goals so far. And I think it's great to see all three members get really involved in the offense and try to relieve a little bit of that burden from Cooks here. And that, again, Cooks are getting demo dangerous. Here is Yukio had enough boost to make that play. Now Cookser doesn't let Rizzo get a touch there. Yukio paying oh. it off to the side. Pernobi trying to make some shenanigans happen. Late rotate ball floating towards net, but JNAP's got back in time. And G2's got to be a little bit frustrated as well because they've had plenty of quality goal scoring opportunities. It's just fitting him in that perfect spot. That one's over Mystic's head. Cookser with a follow up and flip side might be in a good spot here depending on what happens with Yukio. On that one, also narrowly missing. Mystic center ball, Yukio racing towards it. Keeping this in the G2 corner. Pernobi over to the side. Cooks are red and well. Final minute of gameplay. Flip side up by just a single goal. Rizzo 
popping it up. Cooks are using up all his boost for that one. JNAPS centers it to Crow, but Yukio got a piece. Rizzo again with the follow-up. Going for another touch, but he leaves it. Now time for Flipside. Mystic with a long clear. JNAPS pops it up for Rizzo. Rizzo getting challenged by Yukio. A very good 50-50 there. And now Flipside trying to get their attack going. Oh, here we go. A chance here for Mystic. Mystic getting met. And denied, but he did get the boost steal. G2, low boost and low on time. A demo nice there demo. from Rizzo. That's going to open up the counter attack. Center ball, Rizzo's up. Missed the touch. Cronovia with the challenge. It's bouncing out into the middle. Cooks are up oh, to Mystic no. and Mystic on the counter attack. That secures it for Flipside. Very well executed here from Flipside. You could see j -Nabs trying to get out in front of that one and G2 on the really hard press to try and equalize late in the game. Unfortunately, took that skip right off the side wall and that will definitely be the end of game number two and Flipside battle back, but it's a tough one all the way through. Plenty of great opportunities for G2 and they might get one more. No, they will not. Tied up in the series. Flipside and G2 splitting games right out of the gate and Mystic, he was a key player here for Flipside, scoring multiple goals yet again. And Mystic, when he was talking in his AMA, he said that, you know, he's a he's a very hot and cold player yes. and a very emotional player. If he's feeling it, he can be very good. But if he's not, then he struggles. And today, in this game, right now, it looked like he was on. And there's no better time to step up because, again, Mystic is that team captain for Flipside Tactics. He's the one in charge of keeping them in the games. And when you are that emotional player like that, it is your duty to understand yourself. You really have to know how to manage those emotions and perform quite well. So, overall, really like the pressure, and it's great to see Mystic and Yukio as well because usually we see Cooks here, the one, that backline player for them, transitioning from offense to defense. But now that Mystic and Yukio are getting these balls upfield, they're driving the offense and saying, look, Cooks here, you just be a strong third man, yeah, occasually he's, he's, set up some good plays. He's just been that third man. I mean, still, again, three assists for him on the board, 100% goal participation. Cookser is continuing to be that facilitator, but what we're seeing here is not so much Yukio on the offensive side of the ball, a lot of it is Mystic leading that charge. And Yukio definitely making some key challenges to keep Flipside over on the offense, or at least stopping some scary chances from G2. But overall, again, Cookser, the big setup man out of the midfield, not having to transition from defense to offense, just says, let's keep the pressure. Game three underway now, G2. Trying to bounce back after dropping game two to flip side. Rizzo. Now Yukio and Cooks are not the greatest hit from Cooks. Chance, double commit. Defense scrambling for flip side. Rizzo off the wall. Gonna follow what it up. Touch. Air oh triple my in. Goodness. Rizzo hits it. And that is his fifth goal of this series so far. I mean, we spend all this time talking about Grunovi and JNAPS, but look at this one. Over the top of everyone, and Rizzo gets him started. You see him canceling out that flip so he could just stay right on top of the ball, boosting that one home. Rizzo with some magic. And what a way to start game three for G2. How do you answer if you're flip side tactics? We're about, to, we're about to find out. Mystic going for the challenge. Mystic oh, didn't get that hit, and Yukio missing there as well. Lots of boost used up on those attempts. Ball leaking out into the middle. JNAPS with some time. Passes it off to the side, but Kronovi wasn't in position. Oh, this is it. And now a double tap chance. He gets the center ball. And a beautiful touch from JNAPS hits that off to the side. Still scary for G2 again. On defense, sometimes they tend to clump up a little bit, and it leaves a lot of options for flip side, but they escape with that one just barely. Merch just past that first minute of gameplay. Rizzo, just like game number one, leading the charge for G2. Now Jane Apps going for the pass, nice pass, drops it out, and that one blocked by Yukio, sent downfield. But Rizzo pops it by Mystic. Pernovi missed his hit. Pop up for Mystic. Yukio is going to get there first. Jane Apps bails out. Now Pernovi, good 50 50 from him, but Mystic waiting in the middle. A pass off to the side, but no one there for flip side. 
Great pressure again. Yukio coming in with some big challenges overall out of the midfield on defense. And that Maynard. was a double commit. Rizzo is left on the backboard, still in trouble. Left side at times really putting it, it to this G2 defense. Now Cooks gets the boost steal. Back passes to Mystic. Mystic taking possession. Pernobi with no boost. Good challenge. Yukio oh, man. off the backboard. Chance for Cooks, sir. Oh, yes. Crossbar down. Cooks ties it up. And that actually goes all the way back to Cooks here, realizing that they didn't have much on the first go around. It, that back pass to the midfield is what allowed Flipside to keep this pressure going and throw that into the corner. And again, Yukio with a brilliant challenge. And of course, who else is going to find the perfect shot to the back post? Cooks here. The European MVP making his mark in game three. As we approach the half game mark, Mystic getting beat by Kronovi. Kronovi flipping to this one. Oh, and the Whoa. pinch, that one jettisons towards net, but Yukio was in net waiting. And now Cooks are down the sideline. Yukio going for another touch. He does get it. That gets it by Rizzo. Open net. Long clear. Nobody home for G2 and Flipside takes the lead. And you gotta wonder exactly where everything went wrong. Hard pass. Rizzo doesn't elect to go back. He goes to get the side boost instead of going back onto his own half. Maybe just a little bit unaware that nobody on his team was gonna have a touch. And indeed, the back door open. And you can't do that when you've got Flipside Tactics just waiting to put one in. Now leading in game three. Mystic. Down the sideline, JNAP's not the greatest hit. Mystic is going to get that boost steal as well. G2 might be in trouble here. Oh, Pernobi over net. to JNAP's, wide open net, and JNAP's, he hits it. The exact same thing back the other way. Just Pernobi, a perfect challenge. Mystic a little too far, and Cooks here caught out of position as well. The clean transition, and of course, the finish. And that's something that, that's just a heads up play from Pernobi, recognizing JNAP's in that cherry picker position and a beautiful textbook counterattacking play. We're all tied up. Cooks off to the side, Yukio off the side wall. Mystic trying to challenge this one through, going for another play here. Leaves it for Rizzo. Pernobi up, getting challenged again by Yukio. His 50-50s continue to help this flip side offense, help them stay in the zone. Really enjoying the speed at which Flipside are going for challenges as well. No hesitation, they're up for just about everything, and that's what's making it so tough for G2 to gain some solid possession. We haven't really seen Pernobi have as much as an impact as Rizzo and Jane have so far. Only two assists and one goal for Kronobi. We'll see if he can step up. Sorry, three assists, I can count. <laughs> so we are in the final minute of gameplay. Tied it to a piece. Rizzo going for another highlight play. He gets turned aside. And Kronovi was lurking right on the goal line because he knew if that one got through, it was dropping right on his head. Mystic demos the goalie and Yukio. Last one bar and oh, out. Just high follow up from Cookster. G2's not out of danger yet, but finally with that clear, G2 get a little breathing room. Unfortunate for Yukio. Wide open. Sometimes you kick it a little high. And again, Mystic rinse and repeat. Demo on the goalie, and thankfully Grenobi there to stop it, but not out of the woods yet. Mystic continues to make those physical plays happen. And it almost spelled a goal for Flipside. Final 10 seconds. Oh, it's shot almost head. from Cookser, and Cookser with just six seconds left on the clock takes the lead in game three. It's that speed again on those challenges. Rizzo's a little too slow. Cookser's already up for that ball as soon as it goes up and off the ceiling. And Cookser, of course, delivers the go ahead. So just six seconds left for G2 to respond. Crow off the sidewall. See if they can keep it up. Yukio, that shot towards net. Oh, saved, dear. but that will touch the ground. And flip side, take game number three. And Cookser's had enough. Renovi says, they've never beaten me on land. I don't intend for that to happen. And they're one game away. Flipside Tactics won a heck of a game from Yukio Mystic as well. Cookser, I mean, you didn't even really need him. He was just there for the cleanup and, and got Yukio off the hook a little bit. But man, 
What a show. Let's go check out some G2 fans. There they are. <laughs> That's the official G2 cheering section. Yes. <laughs> See Kia, Chelsea, and Athena right next to Stumpy. <laughs> They're all cheering on this G2 team who's now down 2-1 to one against this surging flip side tactics. And the and comeback needs to start somewhere. It absolutely does. And, uh, you know, G2, they're a team that has been in incredibly high-pressure situations and come out on top. These guys, veterans, champions. So we'll see how they respond here going down. Just one game left for Flipside to close out the series. And the answer is, honestly, it's not hard. You know, you just got to be a little bit faster, but it's always easy to say that because, again, the challenges from Flipside Tactics out of the midfield have come at such incredible pace and they have been bang on just about every time. Yukio, Mystic, Cookser, all of them have been so locked down in this series. And it's just how does G2 break out of their own half and get things going back the other way? They need their golden striker, JNAPS, or someone to step up right here. G2's back is against the wall. Flip side, one game away from moving on in the upper bracket. Game number four. Cooks, center ball to Yukio. Yukio going for a double tap. Oh, Does not? he hit it? No. Narrowly mishit that one. Yukio with a chance to make the top 10. And G2 dodging a bullet again. You do not want to see them start off behind if you're a G2 fan again, because as you've already seen, Flipside does not let off the gas. Very easily a big miss, and that's free pressure for F3. Cooks, sir. The corner. Yukio challenging again. Mystic going for that challenge. Just gets beat by JNAPS. JNAPS puts a shot towards net, but Cookser pops that right back into the middle. JNAPS another pop up. Double commit there, but Cookser lets Yukio take it. And Yukio gets another hit and oh, challenges man. it through. Immense defensive effort from Yukio. Man, you ask how's Yukio going to perform in his first land? The answer is out of his mind. He has continued to just have great challenge after great challenge keeping the pressure on. We've seen him miss a few shots, but on this stage, that's to be expected. So far, Flipside having a great series. Great touch, where's three? Grenobi too far away, unfortunately. It was a great setup by G2, uh, Rizzo and JNAPS, excuse me. But unfortunately, that third finisher, a little too far. And JNAPS, he's always the player. We joke about it, the knapsack. He can carry his team. Can he do it here? They need him to start Showing what he's got. Over one. Good flick from Pro. JNAPS by another. Center ball up for Rizzo. Rizzo, the shot. That saved by Mystic. Another chance. Yukio up. Oh, he dear. misses it. Dangerous. Oh, but G2 were too close. And they had to give a little bit of extra time to try and get further back because they weren't expecting a miss. Pernovi finds JNAPS on the sideline. JNAPS couldn't control it. Cooks her with the counter. Does he do it? Going for another touch. Kronovi, big save from him. And now again off the back wall. Kronovi didn't get the greatest hit. JNAPS getting beat to the ball by Yukio, but still gets a piece of it. Cooks her. Center ball. JNAPS oh there. Still under pressure. G2 bending but not breaking. They need this pass. Pass over to JNAPS, and that one again interrupted. Flip side just not giving G2 any space. But G2 did steal away all the midfield boost and a couple of the corner boost. They might have a good opportunity to start starving flip side here. Unfortunately, that weak touch. And again, the demo for flip side out of the backfield. It's just been wreaking havoc all series long for G2. JNAPS taking his time, trying to get the flick, but didn't get enough height. Cookser is going to clear that off. Mystic getting full boost now. He'll be able to turn on this, but he's going to tap it off to the side. Tries to get it by JNAPS, but a good challenge. Cooks her in the corner. And we're past the three minute mark. Just two, under two minutes left in the game. Still scoreless. This is neck and neck. G2 have no more lives. Oh, what a pinch. Can they convert though? Mystic, downfield. He's gonna chase it. Goes for the shot, but he missed getting contact. Tough read from JNAPS. Counterattack opportunity. Long and shot. Net. And Rizzo 
finds the back of the net and he takes the lead for G2. And F3 trying to continue these aggressive challenges out of the, mid uh, the, out of the midfield. Cooks here dove from so far away at that ball. Had a lot of faith in G2 not coming up with a touch off that great pass from Yukio, but they found it, turned it upfield, and Cooks here, the third man back, left it open. Yeah, 72 mile an hour shot and a perfect spot. Rizzo, he has been hitting some great shots for G2. Another chance, that one hurtling towards net. Now Cooks here. Upfield, hot down to the middle. Cooks are flipping towards it. But Kronobi gets to the ball first, beats two. A touch from Rizzo out to JNAPS, but JNAPS wise. Just a little too far away. Definitely beat to that ball, and if he went, it would have been asking too much and could have potentially given a great counterattack opportunity to flip side. Can they hang on for 50 seconds? I mean, I just saw the Chiefs series. It nothing come is down certain. To the, yeah, nothing <laughs> is certain when one goal is involved. Now JNAPS off the backboard going for the double, but he was just too far out. Mystic gets the demo on Rizzo. Oh, he wanted two. What a pass. Center ball, JNAPS cuts it off. Final 30 seconds, flip side. Need to gear up right now. Slow play from Mystic. Goes for another fake Man. there. Gets two defenders out of the equation. Gonna go for the pass, finds Yukio. Oh. Yukio getting denied by Rizzo. And now the counterattack for G2. Center ball. Mystic doesn't get a great hit. Oh, it's the wide. shot off the post. Final chance for Flipside. See if they can do it. Good clear. No boost for and Mystic down. and Rizzo taps it down. G2 takes game four, and we're going to game number five. And they stop the bleeding on the G2 side. They let in six in games two and three. Game four, they allow zero. And even with Mystic making them all dance in the final 10 seconds, they do lock down. They get the stop, and they go on to game number five. And again, Rizzo out of his mind in this series as well. Him and Yukio both yeah. have stepped up huge for their teams. Rizzo has just had such high impact goals and JNAP's finding Rizzo on that counterattack and we've seen some really good counterattacking plays from G2. Rizzo the only goal in this game resulting from one of them. Yeah, Rizzo scoring six out of the eight for G2 in the entire series and again Yukio continuing to be that brick wall out of the midfield overall. Mystic trying to make things happen. Unfortunately it just came down to one decision. Cooks here trying to slam the door shut in game number four. Unfortunately left his own wide. And it's all the way back. You wouldn't have it any other way, yeah. would you? Of course Flip it would side, go to game five. You know, Cooks versus Kronovi, two legends of the game meeting for the first time since the season one grand finals. Now it's all coming down to game number five to see who moves on in the upper bracket. And does Kronovi lock down Cooks here one more time and say, you're not doing it. Today is not the day, but they're so close. So wipe all the previous games off the slate. Fresh game here that determines it all. Game number five on Champions Field. Who's gonna take it, flip side or G2? Do you see the Cooks here wiggle? Or do you see Let's defeat? Go G2. Let's go G2. Let's go G2. You can hear the crowd. They're wanting G2 to take this one, but flip side oh, has yeah. something else in mind, Mystic. Getting that first strike goal for Flipsa. A missed clear out of G2. It's not the best touch from Rizzo and Yukio. A perfect touch off the back wall. Beat him out. And again, Flipside on the board first. And even on the defensive side of the ball, Yukio's continuing to hit those double taps that completely takes off out a player on the other team. Hooks, line, and sinker. Yukio is able to bait out the defense, and Mystic finishes that one off. A quick goal for Flipside. We'll see if G2 can answer back. JNAPS centers it down. Mystic, long hit. Rizzo up. Mystic going for that center ball. Yukio with a chance, hits it high. Bouncing down. But JNAPS able to get that out. G2 taking great care not to run into, the, into each other on their own half. And Rizzo's had enough of the physical play from Flipside. He'll buy them a few extra seconds here, and they'll get it through. Yukio, the last defender back, takes his time. He was able to make the save, but that ball rolling out into the middle. A scary moment for Flipside. JNAPS getting back to make that save. 
Sean Cooks gets it by. Yukio with another challenge. Mystic, the last back for Flipside. Cooks are racing back on defense. The challenge sent deep into the G2 half. Now JNAP's going up for another touch. Just trying to play keep away from Flipside, but it didn't work there. He really had to. He kind of took himself out of position and had to make a tough adjustment. More importantly, he had to buy some space for everyone to get themselves back in order. So really nice job from JNAP's finding some space to be able to clear the ball. But these missed touches, do they come back to haunt him? And I mean, you can cut the tension in this stadium with a knife there. The G2 family watching in suspense as their sons compete in this first round matchup against Flipside. Here he is, all season long. One more time, no sir, a nice clear. Now Mystic keeping this pressure on. G2 have been locked in their half. Pernovi on the wall, going off the ceiling now. Just goes for the clear, that'll be an easy hit for Cooks. Cooks left it off for Rizzo. And now oh, a long hit. No. JNAPS does get back in time. Now Yukio off to the side, Rizzo. And G2, they've just been trying to keep Flipside at bay. They're, they haven't really been able to start the attack at all. Exactly. There's really not too many options for them. They may be able to beat the first man out of the midfield, but it feels like they just don't have the resources dangling in front of the net, and Rizzo is able to tap that one to safety. But still, Flipside definitely in the driver's seat in game five. CFG2 can start getting some pressure on. Now just two minutes left in the game. Yukio off the backboard. JNAPS, he saw Cooks are waiting in the midfield. Hungry oh, for that goal. And a demo from Mystic. That one off the post and in. Yukio with a huge goal for Flipside. And again, all set up by Mystic through two members of G2. Make that three. Put JNAPS in the grave. And that'll be Yukio sliding it through the left-hand post. Flipside. They feel like that might be a death grip. Still plenty of time left on the clock, but G2 need to start coming back right now. What a play! Yukio again getting another touch off the ceiling. Cooks her to the sideline. Now finding Yukio over there. Cooks are just waiting. You know, he is a guardian in the blue half that G2 can just not get the ball past. He hasn't even been needed, really, this entire game number five. You've seen him a couple times push the ball on offense, but otherwise it's been Yukio and Mystic saying, you're not getting through us. And it's so daunting to look past that and be like, there's another guy. And not only just some guy, but the European MVP, Cookser. And that shot will find through. the back of the net. JNAP with a hard shot beats Cookser. And boy, did it have to be. He said there's one more guy. Yes, there is. And it's probably one of the best defenders we've ever seen. But just enough mustard on it. JNAP slides it through. Kronovi finally able to get a pass out to the middle instead of just going up the field. And they get within one. So now we have the final minute of game number five. This is the decider. Flipside still maintain this one goal lead. Pernovi into the middle of the JNAPS. Yukio got faked out a little bit, but still recovers. Wouldn't be surprised to see just a ton of long clears from Flipside Tactics. Just waste all the time, but they give an opening. And they can't get it. Mystic into the corner. Final 30 seconds. Flipside and Cooks are about to beat Cronovi for the first time if they can just hold on. Rizzo, up oh, now JNAPS, he's gonna chase this down. He has full boost to work with, pops it up, oh. accidentally bumps Cronovi, stays with it. This has to be a clear, it has to. Yukio, hitting this off the backboard. Is anyone there a miss? Chance for G2. And That's they both double come in and flip side, close it out.